Hello and welcome to Good At Voice with the Tara Sampson Voice Studio. I'm Tara Sampson and today I have a set of exercises geared towards bringing back some flexibility and resonance to your voice. Let's talk about music. have those days where our voice just won't seem to do what we want it to, where it feels sort of stuck or tight. This can be caused by a number of different things, and if it becomes a persistent problem, you should definitely talk to your voice teacher about it and maybe even consult a laryngologist. However, if you just simply have some allergies, didn't get enough sleep last night, or maybe just talked too much yesterday, this video is for you. First, we're going to give the neck a little massage by taking three fingers on either side of the spine, don't press into the actual spine, and we're just gonna lean the weight of the head into them, just dropping it in. Then we'll give ourselves just a little massage, nice and light, whatever feels good for you, and move gently to release that neck tension. Don't forget to breathe here, my friends. Good. Now, we're gonna drop the head, chin to the chest, and we're just gonna roll it side to side, working out any areas that are a little tight as needed. And again, don't forget to breathe. If your neck, intercostal space, or upper body, arms, chest, back, shoulders, feel particularly tight, Check out our Breathing for Singers stretch sequence. That's guaranteed to loosen everything up and set you up for some wonderful breathing. Now, we are going to start vocalizing and we're going to bite the pinky finger like so. You don't wanna bite it super hard and you should definitely make sure your hands are clean first but we're gonna bite it and give a slight smile, kind of like a smile you might give someone you're not a huge fan of, just like this. This is going to take some pressure off of the larynx and encourage the sound to move forward. Now we're gonna sing a ye, Y-E-E, -E, alternating between a second and third, sounding like this. Ye. Make sure to avoid glottal attacks here. That's gonna fatigue the voice more rather than stretching it and gently bringing back some flexibility to it. So join me now and sing along. through these that it is a ye, a really bright e sound, rather not an i sound. Sometimes it wants to morph into more of a ye, ye, ye. But that sounds not what we need here, friends. We need that really forward e. <laughs> Now that you've got the hang of it, we're going to speed it up just a touch so it'll sound like this. Join me now.
job already. Hopefully you're feeling a little more looseness, a little flexibility coming into the voice. Now we're going to do some lip trills on a one, three, five, eight pattern. Feel free to sing along on a rolled R like rrr, if you find lip trills difficult and then be sure to check out my video on how to do a lip trill in order to build that skill. So listen once and then hop in when you're ready. some voice sh sound just like the end of the word massage this will bring back some flexibility we'll be using a one two three four five four three two one pattern so join me whenever you're ready <laughs>
voice is feeling at least a little bit looser and a little more accessible, feel free to go through this whole sequence again if you feel like it still needs some work. But if it is still feeling a bit tight, be sure to take it easy whenever you move into your material today so that you don't exacerbate the issue. Safety first, my friends. Please leave any and all questions, comments, or concerns down in the comment section down below. And most of all, keep singing.